I'm Greg Merman. I'm the founder and now the vice president of Cloudtrees. Essentially, I function as a general manager, and we're here at 306 Northern Ave, which is the Harpoon Brewery, and it's where we actually produce most of our beer. We do also produce some of our beer in Windsor, Vermont, at the other Harpoon Brewery. I'm the fourth generation in the family business. My great grandfather had a meat cart that he drove up and down Mass Ave from Lexington into Boston. That became a grocery store. Right after Prohibition, that became a liquor store. My father's the wine guy and he started a wine import company. After college, I got involved and started running the wine import company, but was never super passionate about wine. When you get a wine license, you also get a beer license in Massachusetts. So I, I actually just wanted to distribute other people's products. It, it just kind of came together, the idea that maybe I could start something uh, and, and get rolling with it. We've never had a home, and even though we now sort of do, uh, it's really the Harpoon Brewery. So we're pretty unique in that we've grown and created a, a real cult following and very high quality liquid w without ever having our own place. I think Space Cake is probably the one that I would point out because we were going to go with a different direction. I honestly don't remember what we we're gonna call it. It was something hero related. And the space cake thing came together and the combo of the beer, which we have been working for a long time to refine, the imagery and the name has made that our flagship. So I, I think that was probably my, my best effort. So I went to school and got a degree in English literature with a minor in uh, mythology and actually my degree was half literature, half creative writing. Most of it is kind of me having inspiration and throwing hundreds of names at my team and they kind of distill them to the few that aren't horrible. Now sometimes my team members come up with great ideas so it's not always me but it's usually me with an idea sometimes it's the whole team. Next month we'll be doing our first ever barrel aged beer that's in a 16 ounce can it's called Hammer of the Lion. It's a blend of bourbon, rum, and uh, brandy barrels, and uh, essentially a stout and a wee heavy that were aged in those different barrels. So it's going to be a very special beer and a really interesting experiment for us. Beer festivals early on were the number one way we could connect with people and get our message out there. And to this day, it's still a, a very vital way to do that. So to have it be an actual WGBH festival for me is extra cool. I grew up in the area. I'm super familiar uh, with WGBH. Uh, so it makes it a little extra special for me.